In this tutorial, we're going to be making this realistic jeans pants from scratch. We will learn cloth sculpting, pants, UV mapping, and realistic texturing. By the way, you can check the previous tutorial on how to make a realistic leather jacket from scratch. So the link is going to be down below. Alright, so let's get down to it. Alright, so here we are in a new Blender scene. So what I'd like to do first is to import our base mesh. So I'm going to just select everything, X, delete it. And after that, I'd like to jump into file and let's go into import. And since this is an OBJ file, so you need to go to this file front, OBJ format, and let me just choose. So I'm going to just choose this character base mesh. So you're going to find it in the resources down below. So double click on it and bam, we got our base mesh. All right, so the first thing I'd like to do is to scale it down to make it reasonable, to give it some reasonable height. So if we press N, select our guy, jump on the edit or the uh, item, so here you're going to see that the Y axis, so really it's the Z axis. So it's set to 20 meters, which is not reasonable at all. So I'm going to just press S and scale it way down until it reaches some uh, reasonable height. For example, 1.8, 1.9. Now it looks reasonable. All right, so we got our base mesh. So also what we need to do is to s uh, apply the scale so that we can set the scale to 1, 1, and 1. So that we don't going to have any problems with the modeling. So control A and let's apply the scales. All right, so now we're good to go. So what I'd like to do right now is to cut the pants or the jeans section. So I'm going to press one to go to the front on the edit mode. I'm going to press control or alt A to deselect everything. Press B. Let me just zoom on a little bit. I'd like to cut from this section all the way to the bottom. So I'm going to press B to box select and we can do something like this starting from here. Take it all the way to the legs like this. But the problem with this selection is is that we aren't going to be able to select the bottom section or the yeah the back section. So what we need to do is to switch to the wireframe. So we can press Z, switch to the wireframe, and redo the selection. So you can you can just left click on the mouse, or you can just press B to box select, and we can do something like this. All right. So now we're going to be selecting both sides, which is awesome. So Shift D can duplicate this section or this uh, pan section. Press P, separate selection. Now we got it. So all we have to do right now is to just hide our base mesh. And I'm going to be selecting this one. Press F2 and let's call it pants or jeans. All right. So now before we can proceed with the sculpting, I'd like to fix some problems on the bottom. So for example, we got some extra loops here. I'm going to just go ahead and delete them. You can go here to the face mode. Press all to select this entire row. X, delete faces. Go here again, alt to select this entire row. X, delete it. So now it's full, we have an entire loop. I'm gonna be doing the same thing here. So Alt, click here, X, delete. Alt again, X, delete. So now we're good to go. We did some good cleanup. Also here for the top, so let me check. So we, we have two ways to deal with this. We can either smooth stuff out or we can, for example, do some cleanings. All right, I'm gonna delete these extra faces that we don't need. Here on the back, I think we're good. We might, for example, do something like this. I'm going to be pressing Alt here to select this entire row. Shift to deselect these two sides. And we can press E to extrude. Right click to cancel that movement. But we can just take it up like this. We can scale it up a little bit. Move it forward. And after that, we can snap these two points together. So let's jump into the vertex mode. Select these two points. Press M and merge at the center. And I'd like to do the same thing for the other side. Select these two M, merge at the center. All right, so now we we're good to go. So all we have to do is to just do some uh, smoothing on the top so that we can have our edge uh, straighten up. So what we need to do is to jump into the sculpting, this tab here, the sculpting. I'm going to just zoom on the top here. And we can choose here the smooth brush. Click on it and start brushing on the top. So as you can see, we're smoothing that section on the top. And it looks fabulous. All right, so now we got our pants ready to be sculpted. But before sculpting it, I'd like to texture it first. So the reason why we need to texture it before sculpting it is that we need to check, we need to see which areas to sculpt on. So once you have the texture, you can sculpt, for example, here on the belt area. You're going to see that. So that's why we need to, to texture it first. I'm going to be jumping here into the layout. And I'm going to just expand the bottom section here. And I'd like to switch it to the shader editor. So here we got this material, the default, default material. I'm going to just remove it and create our new material. Let's call it pants, jeans pants, or something like that. 
So right now, if we, for example, press Z here and switch to the material preview, and if we try to play with this base color, color, you can see that the color of our pants is gonna be updating. So this, what we need to do is to connect the texture, the pants texture that we got, we need to connect it to the base color. So I'm gonna be dragging this pants texture here. You can find it in the resources. I'd like to connect the color to the base color. So what we need to do right now is to unwrap our pants. So here I'm gonna be sliding or dividing this window into two parts. You can click here and drag. And I'm gonna, I'd like to switch this one from the shader editor to the UV editor. So if we jump here on the edit mode, like this, select everything, we aren't gonna be able to see any UV. So that's why we're not seeing this pants texture applied here. So what you need to do is do this. We can press tab, select everything, press U, and we can click on unwrap. All right, so we got it unwrapped, but it's unwrapped in a weird way. So that's why here it looks weird. So what you need to do is to cut it exactly like pants are in reality. So we need to do some cuts. So in order to do the cuts, so for example, I'm, I'm gonna be starting from here. I'm gonna be making a cut from this side and the second cut is gonna be on the other side. And also we need to cut it on the middle. And after that, we're gonna be unwrapping it again. All right, so let's do that. So I'm gonna be jumping, press Z, jump into the solid. And we can press, for example, Alt here. No, actually not this one. So we can, let me just search for another line. We can press Alt here, there we go. We got the first line. And Shift, Alt, no, not like that. We can, for example, just continue selecting this. Like this, Shift, Alt, and select the bottom. Z, switch to the wireframe, we got that first line. I'm gonna try this, Control E, and we can mark seam. So basically the mark seam is, uh, think of it like if you are cutting your pants. So that's the first line. I'd like to do the same line on the other side. So I'm gonna be pressing Alt, not here. So press Alt again, there we go. That's the first section. Shift Alt to select the bottom. Control E, and let's apply or mark seam. All right, so we got the two cuts. You can see that they are marked in red. Got this side and this side. So all we need to do is to add inner side so here alt select the inner side control e and mark seam all right so we got three cuts so now let's select everything press u and do an unwrap so right now it's going to be unwrapped in a better way so now it's going to be easier to put these uvs at exact position so alt a to deselect everything press l to select the first unit you can do this try r to spin it around, but make sure that you are not enabling the proportion editor, otherwise it's gonna be affecting the other geometry. So check this out. If I try G, so we're gonna be affecting the other geometry. So let's just remove that for just a second, and I'd like to spin this one around by 90 degree. Let me just put it, for example, here, and we can also select this one by pressing L, try R, and spin it by 90 degree. All right, so let's just put it here on the top. So control space, let's go back, and let's check if you are doing if we are putting these uvs at the right place z jump into the material preview on the edit mode let me try this i'm gonna zoom in let's select the first one using the l can try to move it and as you can see we're putting the front on the front and the back on the back otherwise if you're not having this we can just switch them put the back here and the front there all right so that's awesome so what you need to do is to start working one at one uvs at a time so Alt A to deselect everything. I'm gonna be jumping onto the face mode and I'd like to select only the front. So if you press L here, we're gonna be selecting only the front part, the front section, which is awesome. All right, so let's jump into the UV editor, control space to maximize this and let's start working on it. We can press Alt here on the bottom and activate this proportion editor and we can try this G, try to move it like this. So as you can see, I'm using, the, I'm using this proportion editor to help me deal with with the UVs. So we can move it a little bit down like this, try R again, spin it like this, G, move it down. Awesome. All right, so let's do the same thing for the left leg. So G, try to move it like this, try again R, and we can spin it around. G, all right, awesome. Next, what we need to do is to expand this so we can try this sx try to expand it on the sides alt here on the middle sx try to bring it inside awesome okay then same thing here on the bottom 
can for example select these try to bring them inside that's pretty much good okay I prefer to follow this line because otherwise it's gonna be a little bit weird so I just follow that line so control space go back and let's check the front so the front looks really good so what we need to do is to fix for example this problem that we got here so I'm gonna be selecting the middle we can try to move it to the right side something like this so that we can have it centered all right so what I'd like to do right now is to repeat the same process that we did with the front UVs I'd like to do it with the back UVs so you can just repeat the same steps try to align these UVs with the back uh, pants texture all right so now we got our pants and wrap and textured what I'd like to do is to improve a little bit this texture so it looks completely flat right now it looks like a paper so what I'd like to do is to improve the jeans texture so control space let's jump here into the solid I'd like first to add uh, I'd like to add a color ramp to work a little bit with the roughness so shift a let's add color ramp I'd like to connect this pants texture color to the factor like this and let's connect and let's connect the color to the roughness like this control spaces go back and all right so as you can see now it's glossy so what I'd like to do is to tweak a little bit these two handles I'd like to take the white handle all the way to the left side okay so now it looks good we're having some glossy spots and some rough spots awesome so now what I'd like to do is to add the bump node so we can do that on the bottom so control space to maximize this shift a let's add a bump node and I'd like to connect the color to the height and the normal to the normal for the strength I think we need to reduce it as you can see it's crazy high so let's reduce it to something like 0 0.2 0 0.25 just a quarter so now we're having some bumps you can see that on the side which is really awesome all right so now we got our pants so the next step is to start the sculpting process so right now if you press Z and jump into the solid you're gonna see that our pants doesn't look like a pants so we need to cloth a brush in it Alright, so let's jump here into the sculpting. So I'm going to be selecting this cloth and I'd like to start brushing with our cloth brush. And, but I would like to just go easy. I'm going to just reduce the strength of our brush to something like 0 0.26 and something like that. So here on the bottom, I'd like to take it down, drag it down like this. Okay, we need to go down like this to create those nice wrinkles, especially here on the back. Okay, that's nice make sure to not go crazy because you're gonna mess up the geometry of of the jeans all right so something like that and here for the knees so you need to take up so basically you need to take up same thing for the for the top so you need to go be going toward the the joints the body joints something like this take it from the top okay same thing here let's take it up here drag down all right doing the same thing here toward this section it's also for for the back or the butt of our character we need to take it up okay something like that also a little bit on the side here okay, just play a little bit with it so we must, we must not leave any part without affecting it with the cloth brush all right pretty much good a little bit here on the side it looks pretty much good for the starting position so what I'd like to do right now is to jump into the material preview so that we can see our jeans texture so Z jump into the material preview all right so we can see that so what I'd like to do is to start sculpting for example some details here so I'm gonna be using a different brush so we can go with this layer and let me try to pop this section up but here it's not working that well and just control Z go back so what you need to do is to add more geometry to our objects so here on this uh, modifier properties I'm gonna be adding the multi resolution modifier so this modifier is gonna allow us to sculpt with higher details so here you can see the sculpt level is set to zero so what I'd like to do is to increase the subdivision I'm gonna just click here on subdivide so now we're gonna be having access to another layer of subdivisions also in order to see our texture we can just check this sculpt to base mesh and let's start operating on this section so uh, I'm gonna be using for example let's use the crease tool you can for example try 
actually it's not working the crease tool it's not that it's not working well so i'm going to be using different kind of brushes so let me go with this clay strip so let me just try to pop this section up can jump z jump into the solid try to operate on it something like that also we can jump here into the crease try to define this area but I think we went too far with that looks a little bit intense so let me just go here to the smooth you can smooth this out just a bit something like that let's go back Z go back to the material preview and for example we can tweak the back add for example again this crease tool try to define for example this edge same thing here let's try I don't think that's gonna be needed all right so we can for example here we can tweak this part make it visible okay let's continue our turn okay not bad can we can add inflate this area try to bring it outside a little bit all right interesting same thing here on the bottom and that's pretty much good so i'm gonna just go with this so let me just go back here into the layout and let me check this out so we need to be enabling this uh, level viewport let's set it to one so that we can see those changes that we made Control space, let's maximize this, jump into the material preview. And basically we got our gene. We can set, for example, some kind of uh, lighting. So here on the scene or the world properties, I'm gonna be jumping on this color and let's set it, I'm gonna be setting it to the sky texture. And let me check which engine we are on. We are on the EV. I would like to switch it to the cycle. You can press Z, switch to the render. And let's take a look at our genes. So you can see it looks fabulous, it looks really good. So you can just go ahead and use it in our project. All right then, so this is our jeans pants. So if you have any questions, feel free to ask me down below. So thanks a lot for watching and I hope to see you in future projects. Take care.